Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using the Garden of Life stamp set from Technique Tuesday. This is a newer stamp set and I thought it'd be really fun to create a really uh, colorful background using that largest flower. So I'm going to be doing some watercoloring over embossing. So I'm prepping my watercolor paper here with my powder tool. Today I'm using some five by seven Strathmore cold press paper. And then I'm inking up my stamp in Versamark ink. Versamark is a great ink for heat embossing because it stays sticky for a really long time. So you don't have to add your embossing powder right away. But because I, it's a clear ink and I'm going to be stamping these flowers all over this five by seven piece of paper, I needed to be able to see where each flower was stamped. So after I stamped each flower, I went ahead and put the embossing powder on top of it right away instead of waiting until the very end and doing it all at once. I did this because otherwise I would have no idea where those flowers were. You can sort of see a little bit of a faint image up um, on the video right now. You can see where those flowers are and you really do need to see them so that you know where to stamp additional flowers. So after all of those flowers were stamped and the embossing powder applied, I used my heat tool to melt all of the powder. And you just wanna wait until the powder turns glossy and it kinda of smooths out a little bit. After you have your heat tool warmed up quite a bit, it really embosses quickly. Like you can see how fast that embosses right there. So I've taped down my watercolor piece here to a board and I'm going to be using a size six round brush as well as my Kuratake Zig Gansai Tombi watercolor palette. I've already pre-mixed some colors. I used some really fall or autumn colors. I'm going to show you my palette here. This is just a butcher pan that has like a porcelain coating on it. I got on Amazon. It's a great palette. And I'm going to go ahead and start painting. I'm going to speed up the painting process since I'm not doing anything super technique driven here. I'm mostly just painting each shape a different color. So I'll come back after I'm done with all the initial painting.
So after the first coat of paint and drying that, and then adding a second coat of paint and drying that, I decided to take some of the white color from the palette and I'm applying it to the edge of an acrylic block. I'm going to use this block uh, to aid me while I add some paint splatters on top of this watercolor piece. When, by using an acrylic block, it gives me more control and I can really sort of aim where I'm going to have those paint splatters fall. It does still look very random, but I just feel like I have more control over this. So I'm going to run my paintbrush off the edge and just flick those a little bit of paint down onto this. Now, if you wanted to use a toothbrush or something like that to flick uh, paint splatters on, you could. I think when you use a toothbrush, you get a little bit more of a fine mist of color coming down. But when you do it like this, you get some kind of medium droplets and some big droplets and also some small. So I really like to use an acrylic block. So I took that off the board after it was dry and I trimmed it down to four and a quarter by five and a half. This is the size of a regular card front. My idea was that I would cut this piece apart and then when I applied it or when I adhered it to my card front, I would leave a gap in between and stamp my sentiment in the middle. So that's what my plan was. So I'm going to go ahead and place this watercolor piece on top of the card front and I'll take a pencil and just draw a line on there so that it gives me a guide for stamping my greeting. And the greeting I'm going to be using today is from Mom Elephant and it's the Sunday Sentiment Stamp Set. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to be using the one that says thank you and then I'll put another little greeting underneath it as well. And I'm using some Truffle Pigment Ink from Avery L. It's a nice brown color and I thought the brown would match the brown watercolor that I've done on the watercolor piece. So I'll just put that thank you down. And then I'll go ahead and stamp the other little sentiment right underneath that says, let's see, I think it says, I think you're all sorts of wonderful. Wonderful. I think it's a really cute sentiment. So this is the point when I decided that I didn't want to use that entire piece on one card. I thought it looked a little bit busy. It's still pretty, but I thought it'd be more fun to break it into two cards. So I took that larger piece and I put some foam adhesive on the back and then adhered it onto the top of this card front here. And then I'm going to round the bottom corners of this card with my We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper. I'm using the half inch corner rounding punch on this. And that'll pretty much finish that card. I'm going to move on to the other card, keeping it really simple. I'm just going to put it more near the bottom. And like I did with that first card, I'm going to take a pencil and draw a line so I know exactly where I'm going to be placing that watercolor piece. I'm using a different sentiment from that stamp set, one that says, Hello, friend. And after I've stamped that in that same truffle pigment ink, just erase the pencil line. And then I put some foam adhesive on the back of that watercolor piece and very carefully applied it onto the card front. I used my grid mat here to help me get it on there perfectly straight. So that finishes both cards for today. Just punch the top corners on that one as well. Those are the cards. Um, these are super, super simple cards. I think the real focus of the card is on the painting, and that's super fun. It's so relaxing just to paint an entire background and not have it be too complicated. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on Wednesday for another card video. so much for watching today's video. If you'd like some additional card ideas or to see cards from fellow card makers, go ahead and click on the videos on screen right now. I've also included a link to a lettering video that I did a couple weeks ago using the gold fine tech uh, watercolor palette. So it's a really fun use of watercolors if you'd like to see some more watercolor. Thank you so much for watching today. You can catch me at my blog at kwarnerdesign.com or on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.